Hello guys, in this video we're gonna do this nice effect, so let's start. So in the layers here, you would find there's only a text with some effects. So if I turn off the effects, we will end up only with a text, so if I double click here, you can see I used Brady Bunch Remastered, it's gonna be a link in the description below, you can download it anytime, and I used a size of 213. So how do I make it this kind of curvy looking? So let's do it again, I'm gonna remove the eye here, and add a new layer, and get the text and type smash with an exclamation mark. So here, let's first zoom in, okay, and let's make it 213 size, enter, and place it here, and then go to the layer here and right click on it and wrap text, and put it on arc, and put here the band on 30 and the horizontal distortion put it on minus 31 or something like that and you can see it's only distorted from here you can make it distorted from here if you want but I'd rather make it like this okay and press ok and you will have the same effect I did before so if I turn on this see it's the same effect so I'm gonna delete this one and start from here so let's turn on the effects and get in the effects or you can right click on it and blending options and I'm gonna turn off everything okay first let's zoom out so you can see while I'm working on it and get inside okay so first I added a stroke you can see it adds this kind of layers so I added on the fill type gradient and in the gradient I added the color here the red color which is FF0000 and I added a black color here I put it on z all zeros and I just moved them here close to one another and press OK and I put on the size 40 you can increase the size if you wanted some, some like comics might have this kind of big uh, strokes I'd rather on 40 and put the position outside, normal, opacity 100 and make sure you put the style on shape burst, that's very crucial because if you don't, it might appear this way but with shape burst, it will have this kind of double stroke okay, so then I added an inner shadow an inner shadow, I put the color on FFF001 and I put it on normal, opacity 100 and the distance on 14 sometimes you might need more distance it depends on the file you have if you open a small document you might add more distance and bigger size so I think that fits my work perfectly and make sure everything else is the same and then I added a Satan and here I added the color FFF0001 which is the same color I used before I put the distance on 17 and the size on 0 and the angle on 90 and you can see here when I add the Satan here, it adds even more yellow from this side. Okay. And now I added a color overlay. I put it on multiply, make sure you put it on multiply or else it won't work. And the color, put it on the same color. And put the opacity on 100. And then I added a pattern overlay. So here it adds this pattern here. So in the downloads, you can see I have a this pattern here is called red dots I'm gonna put it a link in the description below you can download it which is similar to this picture here so just double click on it and you will have it inside so in the pattern just when you double click on it click here and you would find it here red dots like this and just click on it and you will have it and put the scale on 420 this is very crucial you could you can just increase the size or decrease it depending on where you want it and from here you can just move it around to place it the best position you want and then add a drop shadow and in the drop shadow first let's go to pattern overlay and just place it properly okay this works and then in the drop shadow put it on multiply put a black color and put the opacity on 100 the distance 41 and the spread on 99 the size in 98 and the rest so I think the drop shadow you have to keep editing it until it looks like this one so the size you keep increasing it and distance move it around and the angle you keep moving it until you have it on the right 
but it depends on your taste. I think this one works for me. Okay, I'm gonna cancel it and just turn it on from here. And you will have this nice effect. But first I think we missed on Outer Glow. So we had this, so when I turn on Outer Glow, you will have just a slight stroke in between the red and black. So you can see here, the color here is FFF001, like the one I used before, opacity 100, softer, spread on 94, and size on 46, and the range on 50. You can increase the size here a little bit if you wanted, but I think just a slight stroke here will be a nice effect. Okay, and you'll have this nice effect very fast. And this picture, I just, I'm gonna put it a link in the description below, you will have it. And we're done.